how dark cat is. I'm Kari, the vacuum tube witch. And today I've got a funnel inter interconnect that I made a few months ago. Or was it a few years? I'm not sure. But recently I watched uh, Mr. Carson's lab on, uh, on uh, audio uh, cables. And uh, what matters in them, like um, the shield quality, the capacitance, and let's test this pesky little bugger. Because I uh, did a uh, capacitance measurement on it. Not that great. <laughs> and uh, as you may know, um, with uh, with uh, funnels, we've got uh, high impedance uh, connections, uh, high impedance load and uh, and source, a few tens of kilo ohms. So uh, the capacitance between uh, shield and um, the signal wire affects the the treble. It can attenuate it quite a lot. And let's see uh, how much capacitance this one has. And how much this one has. And make a pair of new interconnects. So, to the bench. Don't mind the noise. I'm using the fume extractor for cooling myself. It's hella hot in here. I don't have any air conditioning. So let's start by testing the capacitance on uh, the old one. And uh, I made the old one uh, with uh, with a uh, separate conductor for for called uh, signal return rather than using the shield let me draw a quick schematic So this would be the RCA plug. And uh, this would be connected to the ground. This is a four lead cable. Uh, the shield is on connected on both sides to the grounding contacts. Alright, zoom on in. So uh, this would go here. This of course would go here. And so on and so on. So we've got both uh, both leads uh, capacitance to the ground, and there's some uh, interlead capacitance um, that's pretty negligible. And I will tell you why, because. Um, because that capacitance would be only on, on this short part. And uh, in the whole cables, uh, the leads would be individually shielded, all shields connected together. Like.
like this. And that would be the outer sheath of the cable. So uh, there is no uh, capacitance between lines because uh, because they are shielded. And let's measure the the value of this capacitance. Let's zero the meter. And grab the central conductor with one uh, alligator clip and the other one with grab the shield connector with uh, with the other one clip it's 104 but this is the capacitance between uh, between this and this and if we want to measure the capacitance with between the lead and shield, it's almost 200 picofarads. Same for the screen, it's uh, slightly more, exceeding the 200 uh, picofarad range. And this. Uh, this teeny tiny piece of cable is 1.80 meters long. And now, for something completely different, we've got uh, a length uh, of uh, RG59 antenna, antenna coax. The length is 6.2 meters. That would be 20 feet uh, for those of you who use the Imperial system. And let's measure the capacitance for this uh, whole uh, length. It's, it's almost uh, 400 uh, picofarads uh, on uh, 6 meters. So divided divided by uh, by six, it would be oh, one moment, please. Picofarads and the nominal uh, capacitance uh, per meter of the RG59 is uh, 62 picofarads. So, if we make a uh, 1.8 uh, meter interconnect, we will come up, come up with uh, 113 uh, picofarads. Uh, from uh, the signal lead to the ground. So, that's, uh, that's far better than uh, 200. And uh, I don't even need uh, a whole uh, 1.8 meter. I can go with 1 meter. So let's make a pair of brand spanking new Fano uh, interconnects. And in order to do that, I would have to unbraid uh, the shield. 
This is gonna be the pretty difficult part because the shield is tighter than ever Granger slices. Oh come on for crying out loud. Yeah, maybe I don't even have to unbraid the whole length of it. I might as well cut it down. I I might as well just cut the whole cable off. And cut uh, the the whole meter. Cut another length. And stash the remainder of the cable. Making sure that both of those cables are of the... Oh, now that's interesting. I will cut one down to the other. Seems like one of them is longer than the other. That about should do it. Careful not to damage the shield. And now the unbraiding part. Stripping the central core. Time to do it on the other ends. After I'm done with this, I will reuse the Nakamichi RCA plugs uh, from the old cable because I don't have uh, that many of them and I'm running on my lab on a budget tighter than ever Granger slices which means that I'm very frequently broke and can't afford material for new projects 
So I have to reuse uh, old material and use uh, scrapped parts. But if I can use anything uh, that's kicking around in my lab to make something nice, I will do it. So, time to take this apart. I will probably reuse the old cable for some other project. <laughs> so this one doesn't want to go. I wonder if I can use the forceps, use the forceps carry. Soldering. So, time to put this cable away.
put the ants. Not to forget anything because I know how annoying it is when you forget to put on the plugs cover. And by the way, this is real dual copper. None of that CCI rubbish. But you can never be sure what you're getting in your cable. So you always have to check if it's real copper or copper coated aluminum. And now it's the hard part. In order to make a good cable, you have to suck away the heat from uh, the shield. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna heat up the plug and cable and damage the insulation and I also I also uh, cool the plug down with the fan And then remove the forceps. Now I can pinch the strain relief. It has seen better days. So not as good as new but I can only reuse the the pre-used uh, plugs putting it together and one down three left to go
And let's see how much capacitance we have on this cable. Less than 60. That's a good one. And let's make the other channel. This is gonna break. I'm gonna make a stronger joint here. Or do something slightly different. Heat sinking still applies. Let's hold it with the other pair of forceps. Yeah, that should do the trick. Not as good as making cables out of new components, but I still will make it a good one. It's more of a uh, experimental than a commercial uh, project.
for a commercial thing, I would definitely go for new. Come on. again this one is 65 but then I uh, recalibrated the meter Sixty four. And also sixty four. So the capacitance is identical. So that would be a uh, pair of new funnel interconnects. And later on, uh, I will also add uh, the grounding cable so that uh, the tone arm is uh, grounded uh, from the preamp. And I will make, uh, make a uh, cable bundle. I will lace those cables together with this nice waxed polyester thread 
But this is gonna take a lot of time. So, it will be time to test them in my hi-fi setup. And maybe I might uh, make another video of it, or just uh, write a little post uh, in the community section of my channel about how uh, or if um, I can hear any difference um, between uh, the old cables and the new cables. And for now, stay determined and carry on. Bye.